everyone, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to be filming my November plan with me and we are keeping it very simple this month. I'm using only one marker. We have the Tombow brush pen in the color 992. It is a very muted almost cool tone but also neutral brown shade and we have one jelly roll metallic pen to add some sparkle and shine which is my favorite thing for the month of october i did a really elaborate color theme with some I thought more elaborate drawings at least for me I'm not the best artist so it was definitely something that was that took more effort than usual for me and I only used my journal for one week not because the journal itself was too elaborate but because I right now am feeling a little stressed and overwhelmed with life with work and everything like that and I felt that if I'm only going to be reaching for my journal once a month after putting so much effort into it maybe let's dial it back go back to the basics and try something simple something minimalistic so that is what we're doing this month if you're going through something simple where you're just finding it hard to even reach into your journal to even open up your journal then definitely try and stick to something something simple i opened up my digital bullet journal that i actually made last year and i was using that just because it was something that i didn't have to make because i'm i go ahead and plan out my journal my bullet journal weekly i don't plan out the entire journal once a month um, so since the bullet journal on my ipad was already planned out for the entire year i found that it was really easy for me to open that up and just have everything ready for me um, if you're interested i do have a digital bullet journal on my etsy shop it's already pretty much the end of the year so I wouldn't download it. I would probably wait until the next one comes out. Or if you're interested in a weekly planner, I do have just a weekly dashboard planner up on my Etsy shop. But for this month, I wanted to try opening up the bullet journal again and give it a go just because I really do like having my hard copy paper journal. I just need to remind myself to open it up and to just take a look at it every day um we are just doing a one page spread and i feel like keeping it to one color is going to make it easier for me to plan out my week because all i have to do is carry around this one marker with me and my weekly page in my opinion my weekly spread is on the simpler side to set up so i think this will be a good method for me to get back into journaling and i will say at first i was a little disappointed because october is the first month in my bullet journal that is not completed every other month is completed but that's okay we do not have to be perfect and i'm not going to go ahead and complete the month just so that I do have a full completed journal. I think that is just a waste of time and energy. So we're just starting with November. I actually really like the cover page. It's really simple, but it looks cute. I like the stacked calligraphy and the little pixie dust that I drew around. The calendar page, the reason why I, I usually do a two-page calendar spread is because I love to incorporate the colors. I do my different shaded in boxes with the different colors and I like to decorate the spread. This month we're just using it for functionality and I don't need a huge two-spread calendar to be able to see all of my events. So we're doing something really simple using a very monotone color theme and this is what I came up with. So I think it's going to be really easy for me to use but still keep me productive. So that is my cover page and my calendar and now we're getting into the weekly spread. I've already cut out my tabs so that when it comes to planning out the other three weeks down in or when it 
at later on in the month, um, then I won't have to worry about cutting out the tabs. So I'm just starting out by coloring in the faux tabs on the left side and then just coloring in the tab on the right hand side. I did have someone ask me on my last video if I could show them how I use my weekly. I do plan on doing that next week. I want to film a sit down video of how I go ahead and plan out my weeks. I do that on Sunday really. I'll just sit down. I go ahead and plan out the week in my journal. I write down all of the events that I have, my to-do list, things like that. And then I also want to go ahead and kind of make it a little journal vlog and show you how I use it throughout the week so that you can see how I set up my week and how I utilize it throughout my week. And I hope that's helpful. If you're interested in using the spread yourself, of course you can recreate it in your own journal, but I do have two versions of this available as a digital download on my Etsy shop. You can download a neutral color theme or a jewel tone color theme and you can either print it out or you can use it on your iPad or your computer as a PDF version and I really enjoy this layout. This is what I found works the best for me. I've tried so many layouts in my four or five years of journaling at this point. Um, this allows me to see everything in one place. I have tried using multiple spreads to be able to track my habits, do my large to-do list, do a gratitude log, see my events, but having everything in one space, being able to see everything, the whole object permanence idea, it really works out for me. So I have a weekly habit tracker, I have a big to-do list, it's kind of like a master to-do list for the week, and I have a gratitude log which can also kind of be turned into a meal planner if you want to. It can be turned into a devotional sort of area, a brain dump. It can be turned into whatever you want to uh, utilize the space for, um, but I like having this left hand page as sort of a productivity page. And then on the right hand side, I utilize that as my event tracker. I break it down into the days, and then I also will break down my to-do list into the specific days I want to do those tasks. So I find this to help me keep track of my events and my tasks, and I think that this just keeps me as productive as possible. The idea of being able to track my habits weekly I think keeps me the most accountable. You can also change your habits depending on what you're focusing on for that week. I also like that I can write something or write two lines a day that I'm grateful about or that I can remember. It's almost like scrapbooking in a way or like a diary entry for the day. Um, I just think that it's really nice to be able to look at. I actually was looking back at the last few months and just reading a few of those days and it really does bring back some memories. If you just write down a key thing that happened that day, you can really just appreciate some moments. And so this is really just the weekly spread that's worked best for me. I call it my weekly dashboard planner. I don't know why, I just feel like this left hand side it just warrants the name dashboard. I don't know how that makes sense to me, but it does. So you can see this right hand side, I'm finishing up the spread by doing my weekly planner now. So this is kind of the typical weekly spread that you would see uh, most people or most planners have. Um, so I'm just writing the dates at the top and then I have a good amount of space. I like to just separate it with a highlighted line. I think, again, the fact that this spread or this whole setup is just one color makes this super easy for me to go ahead and set up because it doesn't take too much time. I don't have to worry about switching up colors or anything like that. I'm going in with my 
metallic jelly roll pen to write week one on the tab here and then this is also the pen that I use to accent the page just to add some shine so I write in the days of the week in my habit tracker I also go in and write the days in my gratitude log I was using that as a devotional for a while or a space for me to write something notable from the verses I was reading that day or from the guided um, Bible studies that I was reading that day. Um, you really can, again, just gear this sort of layout to what works best for you. You can use it to track symptoms, you can use it to write three things that happened that day whatever works best for you and then I'm using that pen to write the day of the week with the number here so again that video I do want to film it next Sunday or next week so hopefully that will be out in a week or two if you're interested if you do want to see that be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that in the future also if you have any suggestions for other types of videos please let me know I know I have not been posting a lot hopefully that will change in the new year. I have lots of plans for this channel and for my Etsy shop and other content. So please stick around by subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!